hey guys uh, welcome back so uh, in this video we are going to uh, practice uh, topmost mcqs based on banking technology so uh, we'll uh, practice question based on digital payment system in india and uh, whenever we talk about digital payment system so we have uh, uh, an umbrella organization which is known as npci so there are so many services of npci and uh, we have payment and settlement system act 2007 and other one as well. So um, please uh, do watch this video till end and do like and do share with your friends. And if you are new, please uh, do subscribe. So we will start with first question on your screen. So the PSS Act 2007 provide uh, for uh, the regulation and supervision of uh, payment system in India. So what does uh, PSS stand for? So PSS Act was passed in 2007 and uh, basically it uh, generally um, regulate and uh, supervise the overall payment uh, system in India and it is stand for payment and settlement system. Okay, so what will be your correct answer? Option uh, C will be correct answer for this particular question. Okay, so uh, payment and settlement system Act 2007 was set up by Reserve Bank of India uh, which receive uh, the ascent of uh, president on 20th of December 2007 and it regulate and supervise uh, payment system in India. Next one, which of the following statement is our incorrect uh, regarding PSS Act 2007. So PSS uh, stand for Payment and Settlement System Act, which is correct. It was passed in 2007. And it came into effect from uh, 12th of August 2007. So this is incorrect one. Okay, it should be uh, uh, December 2007. Uh, the act was uh, set up by Reserve Bank of India. This is also correct. So what, which is incorrect statement? Option C is uh, an incorrect statement about PSS. So it got um, assent of uh, president uh, on 20th of December 2007. So please do remember this one. Okay, next one. Which of the following statement is our incorrect regarding NPCI? So NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India, which is uh, known as uh, an umbrella organization for operating payment and settlement system in India. Okay, so uh, these are the statements and you have to identify the incorrect one. So NPCI stands for National Payment uh, Corporation of India, which is correct one. NPCI is known as an umbrella organization for operating retail payment and settlement in India. Also correct. It was an initiative of RBI as well as IBA. Again, correct one. It uh, worked under the uh, Payment and Settlement System Act 2007. Initially, there was uh, five core uh, uh, promoters of NPCI. So it should be 10, 10 core uh, promoters. So option E is uh, an incorrect statement about National Payment Corporation of India. So initially there was uh, 10 core uh, promoters of NPCI. Today we have more than 64 uh, entities. So these were the bank who generally initiated uh, NPCI, National Payment Corporation of India. Okay, next one. Which of the following abbreviation is incorrectly matched? So you have given some abbreviation which is something related to digital payment in India. Okay, and you have to find out the incorrect one. First one is um, IMPS, Immediate Payment Service, which is correct one. NAS, National Automated Clearing House, again correct one. APBS, Aadhaar Payment Breast System, again correct one. AEPS, Aadhaar Enable Payment System, again correct one. NFS new financial switch so it should be national financial switch okay so option E is incorrect statement so option E will be right answer for this particular question okay so NFS which is generally manage um, the uh, shared network of ATMs automated teller machine in India so NFS stand for uh, uh, national financial switch okay please do remember this one next one which of the following statement is our incorrect regarding NPCI? Sorry, NECT, NETC, sorry. So the statement, you have to identify the incorrect statement about NETC. So NETC stand for National Electronic Toll Collection, which is correct one. It was founded by NPCI, again correct one. It is developed to meet electronic tolling requirements of the uh, Indian market, again correct one. Fastec is a radio uh, frequency uh, identification sticker 
that is uh, fixed uh, on the uh, vehicle so it is also correct so none of the above will be right answer for this particular question i hope you guys uh, know about the fa fast tech system okay so now we generally um, like uh, this is mandatory across the country okay so this fast tech system is generally comes under NEDC that is uh, national electronic uh, toll collection system and it was again developed by NPCI only okay so again this is very important one and this is one of the uh, latest product of NPCI so you need to know about these particular feature as well next one uh, which of the following statement is incorrect regarding uh, CBS so CBS that is uh, core banking solutions okay so CBS stand for core banking solution CBS is defined as a back-end system that process banking transaction across the various branches again correct one internet banking or phone banking are as an example of uh, CBS ATM and POS also part of CBS okay so again what will be your correct answer none of the above so all statement are correct with reference to core banking solution so again it was introduced in 2010 so it is it generally um, it is a we can say a, a revolution in indian uh, digital banking system okay so uh, these were the major or core feature about cbs next one which of the following is not a product of npci so we have given some product so you have to identify the wrong one which is not part of npci so rupee is part of npci uh, i mobile pay it is uh, uh, not part of uh, NPCI, it is an application of ICIC, ICICI bank. So if you do use ICC bank uh, uh, internet banking, so their mobile application name is iMobile, okay. National Automatic Clearing House, NAS is part of NPCI, NFS is part of NPCI and uh, National Electronic Toll Collection System is part of NPCI. So option B will be a correct answer for this particular question. Next one. So iMobile is a mobile banking application of uh, ICICI bank. The Payment Settlement System Act was passed in which year? So what will be a correct answer? 2007. We just gone through the, uh, 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 the, the uh, co basics of this particular application. So it was passed in 2007 and it was introduced by RBI and it become effective from 2008. Next one, NPCA stand for, this is a very simple question, National Payment Corporation of India. So, uh, National Payment Corporation of India, National Payment Corporation of India, National Payments Corporation of India. So, what is the difference? Okay. So, achha, okay. All options are same. So, option, all options are same. Okay. So, uh, all are correct in this particular case. Next one. Um, NPCI was incorporated under which act? So, uh, NPCI that generally work as per the act of uh, or it was registered under which of the following act? So what will be a correct answer? Uh, companies Act 2013. Okay, or that time it was Companies Act 1956. So uh, when like we registered NPCA as an NGO uh, uh, under Companies Act 2013. Okay, and it was uh, uh, proposed by RBI. And we have ten uh, core promoters of NP NPCA. Next one, Rupee payment system is developed by who developed Rupee? So what will be a correct answer? NPCI is it? It is a, a product of National Payment Corporation of India. Okay, next one. IMPS stand for what? So immediate payment service, which means uh, option E will be correct answer for this particular question. So IMPS, it was launched in 2010, and uh, basically that time, like it was, it generally work on 24 into 7 banking. Okay, so you can uh, transfer fund anytime throughout the uh, around the clock. Okay. So IMPS immediate uh, payment service. Next one, uh, NAS stand for what? So National Automated Clearing House. So option B will be correct answer for this particular question. Okay. So National Automated Clearing House uh, is uh, it is basically a clearing house uh, which generally provide uh, electronic mandate platform to register uh, and facilitate a proper uh, uh, paperless collections uh, process for uh, corporate and banks. Okay. Next one. DAS system help uh, the government and uh, government agencies to make a direct benefit transfer for various central and uh, uh, as well as state sponsor schemes. So like we have so many 
सेंट्रल और स्टेट गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स सो दीज स्कीम्स आर बेसिकली आधार लिंक सो ए पी बी एस सिस्टम दैट इज आधार पेमेंट बेस सिस्टम दैट जनरली प्रोवाइड दैट जनरली मेक दी डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर्स बाई यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेटफॉर्म ओके सो एन ए पी बी एस इज अगेन डेवलप बाई एन पी सी आई नेक्स्ट वन एन एफ एस इज द लार्जेस्ट नेटवर्क ऑफ शेयर्ड ऑटोमेटेड टेलर मशीन इन इंडिया इट वॉज डेवलप बाई एन पी सी आई अगेन एंड नाउ द क्वेश्चन इज वॉट डज एफ स्टैंड फॉर इन एन पी सी आई सो वॉट विल बी अ करेक्ट आंसर नेशनल फिनेंशियल स्विच ओके सो एन पी सी आई एन एफ एस स्टैंड फॉर नेशनल फिनेंशियल स्विच सो F is stand for financial, okay, and it is one of the largest um, network of shared ATM. Like this entire ATM system that generally uh, operated through NFS system, okay, national financial switch. Next one, N E R T C stand for. So we already discussed this particular one, N E T C. So national electronic toll collection. So national electronic toll collection means option D is the right answer for this particular question. so if you go through the basic or the fundamental video of uh, digital payment system you will easily answer these particular question and even nowadays um, rbi or government of india they are generally uh, working toward the digitalization of indian economy so there are so many tools which is involved in this one okay so next one bharat bill payment system is offering a one stop bill payment solution for all recurring payment with the 200 plus billers across different different categories so uh, now the question is bbps is developed by so what will be a correct answer npci so bbps which can be used for payment of telecom bill or electricity bill school fee uh, that is also part uh, become part of bbps nowadays okay so you can use for electricity gas water telecom dds loan payment insurance fast tag for every online payment you can use bbps uh, platform and this uh, platform is developed by npca national payment corporation of india okay next one with reference to banking system cbs stand for so what will be your correct answer core banking solution so core banking solution or system so option b will be correct answer for this particular one. basically core banking system or solution okay next one upi has been termed as a revolutionary or uh, product uh, in the uh, payment system and even like nowadays uh, there are so many international countries those who also adopted this particular system okay so it is known as unified payment interface so unified payment interface uh, option c will be a correct answer for this particular question and upi like if you talk about the digital payment tool in india uh, so upi is one of the most preferable tool which is used in india okay every month we have two more than 2 billion transactions uh, with the help of uh, upi application okay next one what is uh, the working time of neft so what is the working time of neft so what will be your correct answer national electronic fund transfer and nowadays it work round the clock okay so previously we have different different time like 6 to 7 pm 7 to 8 pm but now it become round the clock so 24 into 7 so now you can do any time uh, transaction by using um, neft okay so round the clock and uh, the settlement that generally happen on batches wise and the basis timing is half hourly basis as of now next one rtgs g stand for so real time gross settlement okay so what is your correct answer option a will be right answer for this particular one okay so rtgs which is stand for real time gross settlement okay so real time gross settlement rtgs next one rtgs working timing in india so now it is again uh, round the clock okay so it also become round the clock so option e will be correct answer so 24 into 7 so you can do um, transactions um, by using rtgs any time so it can be bank holiday or any time so uh, it become effective from uh, december 14 2020 and it uh, nowadays the working of rtgs is round the clock next one the uh, minimum amount uh, the uh, minimum amount uh, to be remitted through rtgs is so when you use rtgs platform so there is a condition so you can transfer minimum 2 lakh rupees and upper side there is no limit okay so minimum 2 lakh and maximum there is no limit okay uh, 
सो मिनिमम नो लिमिट मिनिमम टू लैक एंड मैक्सिमम नो लिमिट नेक्स्ट वन द मिनिमम अमाउंट टू बी रेमिटेड थ्रू एन ई एफ टी नेशनल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक फंड ट्रांसफर सो वट विल बी अ करेक्ट आंसर यू कैन इवन ट्रांसफर रुपीज वन सो देर इज नो मिनिमम और मैक्सिमम लिमिट बाई यूजिंग एन ई एफ टी ट्रांजेक्शन ओके सो ऑप्शन ई विल बी करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वन वट इज द मैक्सिमम अमाउंट टू बी रेमिटेड through a bharat bill payment system so when you use bps b uh, bhim application okay bharat uh, uh, bharat interface uh, for money so in a day you can transfer maximum 1 lakh rupees so option b will be correct answer for this particular question okay so maximum in a day 1 lakh rupees previously we have like 10000 rupees or 20000 rupees per transaction but now it is like per transaction limit is also 1 lakh and maximum in a day 1 lakh so you can do a transaction of 1 lakh rupees or you can do 10 transaction of 10000 rupees okay so guys um, here we uh, discuss few question based on digital uh, payment system in india or banking technology so i'll come with um, part b so where we will continue the question based on uh, digital uh, payment system in india and these are like you every uh, digital payment is basically you use on daily basis in your life okay so uh, there is uh, like uh, there is uh, if if you practice these particular question on daily basis so you can easily um, uh, you can use you can easily answer in your examination as well okay so i'll see you uh, uh, in next video we will continue the remaining questions so thank you for watching this video please do like and share thank you